I'm going to stay consistent for you guys. I'm going to bring out the content. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm a grind for y'all. So let's let's keep growing. I appreciate it. And all the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs>
but in combat is easily avoidable personally in my opinion it's easily avoidable avoidable and it's not even if you do get hit by it by the time you get hit out the block break you're able to move so i kind of feel like uh i don't use it in battle there's like i put like it's rare if you see me use it it's only someone that's like you know those guys that hold f like their life depends on it that's the only time i actually have the freedom to use that move um when i'm up against good people you usually don't get a magma eruption off um i would give it like a five out of ten probably a four this move's quite bad um there's really no use to it for it outside of pv pve outside of pvp sorry so it's literally these two r and e the pve moves and pvp which i play this game for and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people do um useless very useless um now to the moves that i do use magma fist magma fist is good and i hesitate with that good uh because magma fist is really a follow-up move for me the the range is kind of bad it has um it has bullet drop um call of duty references or battlefield references sorry not call of duty bad game um it has it's kind of slow like the rest of magu um it's not about how much damage it deals it's about i mean the only time you really need to worry about it, the damage it deals is if you're magma main <laughs> like i always use magma fist and magma hound as follow-up moves it does not matter how much damage it deals because you are not a magma main you're using it as additional source of damage. I saw a comment on one of my videos saying, do I use Bazooka simply to disrespect the person I'm fighting? And the answer to that is no, it's a follow up. I use it as additional damage. Um, and if you don't, I feel like if you don't utilize the extra damage you have, you know, you're kind of bad. Um, and I say that in the most respectful way possible. I'm not trying to be toxic or cocky or arrogant. A lot of people feel like when I'm being honest, I'm being cocky or arrogant. And I feel like if you're not able to take, if you're not able to take other people's opinions, uh, if you're not able to take constructive criticism, then you shouldn't be doing anything because in life, people are always gonna have two cents to add to everything um and you're here so i'm assuming you care about my opinion at least um so yeah additional damage it's not the best but it's not bad it's kind of slow so people are, even after people are able to recover if they're fast enough um but sometimes that's not the case i'm like eight percent of the time i get the damage done that i need to do um i'm gonna have clips in the background just playing me in fights when i use these abilities um next ability is magma hound magma hound is has a bigger area of effect has a bigger aoe um really op aoe by the way if it's sometimes i don't know if this happens i know this happens to a lot of people and for you needs to patch this uh, magma hound glitches a lot sometimes you'll use it and it won't activate like it'll show the animation but nothing will come out or if it does it will like turn into a big blob of magma and not deal any damage i'm pretty sure this happens to a lot of people um yeah that's annoying because that has lost me a lot of fights magma hound isn't the most reliable move but when you do hit it is very good it does a bit more damage than magma fist it has a bigger aoe that's all i can say for it it's not the most reliable so if i also rate magma fist out of 10 i would give it probably a 6 6 6.5 for reliability and i would give 
Magma Hound a 5.5 slash 6 because it's not the most reliable and when you really need it to come clutch it won't it won't it'll probably glitch on you um and the last ability magma rain oops i pressed the wrong button i'm so sorry mag look at look, i still have so much stamina i still have so much stamina um magma rain is really 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 good if you use it correctly um now magma rain is good pvp pve uh it block breaks after hitting someone who's blocking for a long period of time uh even though they're able to recover and get her away but sometimes people don't have mana so that's not always the case i feel like you should save magma rain for like a finishing move when they're low um yeah magma rain is pretty good I, I i really don't know what to say about it. it it comes clutch if you use it correctly if you get over ice age and you still get frozen if you time it correctly you're still able to use magma rain um i don't have any clips of that i'm pretty sure i don't but if i do find some i'll i'll insert it if I was to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it uh, like a 7.5, 8-ish out of 10. Now, where do I put Magma as a whole uh, on a rating compared to all the other fruits? I'm going to put a picture, but... Magma is better than Mera. All right, so let's say Mera is Mera is here. <laughs> Mera is here. Magma is just above it, bro. And then you got Hie and Pika. Um, where do I put Goro? I don't have any opinion on Goro yet. I haven't really. There are people in my crew with Goro, but I haven't faced. I haven't like pvp against anyone with goro so i don't have an opinion of it um what i do know of goro is all oh, it's worse its ultimate move is worse than mera's ultimate move has a bigger aoe but that's about it doesn't deal more damage um yeah that's that's all i know about goro really um hopefully i get to see more of it in action pretty soon but that's going to sum up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing me. Um, the grind doesn't stop. Oh, and the giveaway has ended. And the winners, I've emailed all of them. One of them has a fake email address. Now, the problem with this is my email didn't send because the email address on one of the winners was fake. Uh, the YouTube account on that email doesn't have any videos so I can't comment under any videos I'm gonna give from the date of the winner's video I'm going to win a video that makes no sense from the date of when the giveaway ended I'm giving everyone I'm giving the winners 48 hours to respond to my emails or respond to the comments I put under their videos or just reach out to me if you don't reach out to me within 48 hours, I'm not gonna wait a week just to give you what, just to give you um, the Robux. If you don't um, re reach out to me, I'm going to change the whole process of the giveaway. I'm gonna make it. You have to join my giveaway server, and free winners from the giveaway server will, um, will what do you call it? will win so my giveaway server i'm not going to put in a link to this video i'm going to make a whole separate video whole separate video um so within the time frame of what i when i said 48 hours from when the winners were i'm going to make a video when the time is out whoever hasn't gotten back to me that's that's too bad bro i'm so sorry i'm not waiting um and if Let's say if two of the four winners get back to me, um, obviously there's going to be two people who didn't get their prize. I will do a winner. I'll do a whole new giveaway for one person on my giveaway server. 
and that'll be a whole separate video so don't worry about it i'm just talking at this point i'm so sorry <laughs> thank you guys for watching i appreciate it let's let's keep grinding